people, welcome back. More vitamin Y. So today is Friday, and that means that we are using Super Vice Bell. So, uh, it is Friday the 13th, huh? What an unlucky day. <laughs> but it is a lucky day because not only do I get my new 3DS, because I want a new 3DS, because I hate, I hate, I didn't know that I hated my freaking old DS so much, is when I started playing Monster Hunter. Like, Monster Hunter literally made it so, wow! I was like, wow, this hand's actually pretty good. I can just go ahead and send you Bell, and then reverse it back. Classic play. Draw you Bell, like, mm, I'm gonna have to change that plan. All right. So, instead of going that classic play, at least Supervised can recover. Some decks, some of these decks, I'm like, no, I cannot recover from this. But at least this deck can, because Doom Summon can summon you Bell out of the hand. So... That's okay. I'm not going to set the limit verse. I'm not going to set the MST. I don't want him to MST my MST because I might want to use my MST on something of his. Besides that, John Yabel is just like, wow. <laughs> I, I, want, I was totally prepared. Like, as soon as I saw the opening hand, I'm like, all right, classic play. You know, some Armageddon, I drop Yabel, set the limit verse. Bam, there's terror. But nope. We're just going to do the play a different way. What am I singing? <laughs> that was actually a pretty good run, though. So. Yeah, yeah, I, I, you know, if if you guys aren't getting Monster Hunter Four Ultimate on Three, yes, I mean, I mean, I think you totally should. You know, Mill. All right, there you go. Let's say that's a pretty good Mill. You can just summon him, summon him, and bam, there's your fucking uh, junk sink. I mean, junk warrior, junk junk warrior with the tokens, and then you'll gain additional attack. Just like bam, it'd be like a thirty-two beater right then and there. Oh, and then he's gonna, so he's gonna summon him, special summon Doppel Warrior, special summon Doppel Warrior. Yeah. Get all the tokens. So going against the Synchro deck. When does that structure deck even come in? I don't even know when that structure deck's coming out. You know, pitch level eater to special summon. Yep. Just summon a uh, quick draw Synchron. And I guess you're gonna eat a level off and turn him into a level four and then Synchro summon into five? Nope, you're gonna summon Junk Synchron. To summon level eater, then special summon doppel warrior. Yep. Is this first turn quasar? It might be. First turn something. It's pretty big though. This man is thinking. Sink you two into five, so there's Hyper Librarian. Yep. Two tokens. They're in attack position, but you probably use them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that might be first turn Quasar. One, two, three, four, five. There's, uh. What's its face? Yeah, that's first turn Quasar. So of course I'm in you, 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 you to um, Road Warrior. Road Warrior will summon him. Get a level off. Summon him. Sicker so summon into you. Yep, that's Fresh Turn Quasar right there. Yep, Fresh Turn Quasar? No. Drill Warrior. Okay, I thought you were going to go into Road Warrior. You've been 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. You're five, right? It was three. It was level eight. Yeah, Road Warrior. Summon Unknown. Eat a level off of Road or a Librarian. So you're summoning the Formula. Eat another level off. Yeah, and you would have a four. No. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know anything about Synchro Decks. I don't like Synchro Decks. I'm sitting here watching you play with yourself. That's pretty much all I'm doing. Your play has took in a lot longer than mine. Oh. Now that I'm again, night's fine. Alright, I'll go Silent Doom. Go ahead and five Doom Shadow. Here's my normal summon for effect. Effect. This deck does play effect Valor because it's, it's also a tuner, so.
Mm, okay. You use drill while you're fat. So. Really won't be needing the MST. Not really. I'm gonna wipe the field. And this deck doesn't really play any back row. Base. Bell effect. Shaman effect. Bell effect. Summon terror. Terror effect. Yeah, if you're not getting Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Okay. No, I'm planning on getting it. And the, the original, I mean, the 3DS XL. I don't, you know. I pressed the left trigger to lock on to the monster, but then I accidentally hit the volume up and, you know, the volume goes up and down and up and down, so they took the volume and put it up on the top screen for the new 3DS. Then they have, like, extra bumpers, so you can rotate the camera with extra bumpers, so you don't have to, like, kind of t do the touch screen or something like that. Then you get that little nub so you can turn the camera as well, and then you can use that nub to, you know, do smash attacks and smash and do, you know. Also, I have, like, the red Pokemon one, and... I don't like it. I, I mean, I got it because it was like the new shiny one because I got my 3DS one in Pokemon. Uh, X and Y came out, so I got the X one. And I don't like it. There you go. I don't know. They're monsters. They're sitting there I'm like, nigga. they monsters. Go. You know, this deck is a control deck, so we're gonna be going back and forth. So now he bells in the graveyard. Now I can go ahead and play the limit reverse, and he, if he gets rid of my terror, so right now I'm just take the duel slow, get set up. You know, I need to send Tinker, I need to run another revival card, and go ahead and go into a Beals. So I'm not seeing terrible right now. Synchron Explorer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I always thought that was a condition. Yeah. This thing right here, down here. Can't be used to synchro something except for a synchro monster, but synchron monster is a tuner, but I guess because this negates its effect, I guess. Oh, he actually set something? Oh, well, there's Tinker right there. Okay, well, I was gonna... Should have kept that MST in my hand. I didn't know he was gonna send any back row. Oh, there's really no one else to send in this deck. Not really. Not really. I mean, I wanted to send Tinker. You know, at, this, at this point, send the Butter Spice. I've dropped the Butter Spice down to two, because they were clogging at three a lot. So, I uh, dropped them down to uh, two. But now, because I got everybody, you know, Yubel, Terror, Doom Shaman, Ultimate Sun and Field, Tinkers in my hand. So because I got everybody now, there's really no point, and it's probably an MST. He's going to play during the end phase, right? No? Okay. I forgot what the hell I was talking about. Oh, uh, you know, send the Butter Spice so they don't fucking clog my hand. You know, so I'm going to draw into a Butter Spy. Because at this point, they really don't serve any purpose. They're supposed to help me early game with consistency. So, you know, instead of, you know, when I open up my opening hand, I open up like an Armageddon Knight and a Rota. Instead of going like, all right, well, Rota for another Armageddon Knight, go Armageddon Knight, send. Next turn, Armageddon Knight, send. I can just go Rota, Blue Mountain Butter Spy, Armageddon Knight, Blue Mountain Butter Spy. Lava wall chain, and then I get my two sends in one turn instead of two because of Blue Mountain Butter Spike and it's a warrior, so I can start with Rota. But besides that, once everybody is sent and, you know, we're all good, uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I need, right? 
despite burning through resources, he is still keeping up in this duel. He keeps on getting his junk synchrons and his undone synchrons and stuff like that. So he's definitely still staying in the duel. Yeah. Look at him. He is staying in this duel. He's using up his resources like crazy, but, you know, he's got the double quick draw and double this and double that, you know. He didn't even do that much searching. He just naturally drew him, so. You get your tokens? The tokens are optional, so if he doesn't want them, I'm not going to tell him. If it was mandatory, then, you know, I would have threw the tokens to the seal, but they're optional. Junk Archer. That's seven, right? Yeah, that's seven. Oh, Jump Berserk, all right. Okay, so you're gonna have him attack my thing. No, I'm facing the monster field. Let's attack the target a little. Blah 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 blah. Okay. All right. So I drop down to 100. Okay. Mhm. Mm this your final push. All right. So I'm at 100. So it's 22. So 2,000 left. And you're just gonna leave my ultimate nightmare there. Wow. Yeah, because I'm not even in attack position. Like, I gotta be in attack position to even get my effect. Another limit reverse. Alright. Just go, oh. ow! <sighs> Oh my god, I can't type. Destroy the... Ah, forget it. He knows what I meant. I've mistyped. Alright, well, he's top decking at this point. I mean, he's, he's done pretty well at top decking in this entire duel, so... You can't. You can't. Neither of us can discard. You have to discard. You have to send first. Yeah, but say, neither of us can send, as you can clearly see. Both players send two cards, then you're like, oh, I can't do that, so I guess I just draw two. Like, no. Like, a no, it's not a fucking pound of greed. Both of us have to send. I don't have two cards in my hand, you don't have two cards in, my, in your hand. Like, no. Fucking, <laughs> and then he just quits. He doesn't even want to discuss anything, he didn't want to argue with it. He just tried to play it, tried to draw, and I was like, no, and he was just like, mm, fine. I'm going to take my toys and go play by myself, go play somewhere else. Like, all right. And nigga, he opened up pretty busted, like. You opened up really well and drew really well. You know? Despite only playing one tuning and one rota, you naturally drew into every other of your cards. You know, and you didn't even rota search for the freaking uh, the freaking junk synchron either. You used it for doppel, so you just you just naturally drew into some good shit. I just happened to draw into a lot of Ebel revival. I was about to say, yeah, I got the classic play. But then I was like, don't make me draw you, Bell, unless I have Dark Graffer. <laughs> Hands up, terrible. Pawn sets one in the background. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> 
like, oh, at least they didn't drag you out, drag you out. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you so much. Fine. Fine, deck. Alright. Alright, you're a fucking douche, but alright. <sighs> I know I could get the additional Samurai Dark Griffer, but I wanted to go ahead and do that and pay cost to get you belt to the graveyard in case that's like a bottomless or a warning or something. That's pretty much the, the gist of why I did that play. So if he wanted to go ahead and bottomless me, or warning me, more power to him. I think about Exitoning. Exitoning, since it's a reverse. And I really don't need to send anybody else. Everybody's in the graveyard, so yeah, let's go ahead and Exiton. One of the scariest things this card could be is an MST. So if it's an MST and I wipe it, yeah, because I can set my limit reverse, not have to worry about an end phase MST. Sakuretsu motherfucking army. <laughs> armor. Army. Armor. Hello? Oh, I should be in my face. I have to be in my face. Whatever. I don't click the buttons. Go ahead. So, at least I know what I'm going against now. Someone who's not good, because Sakuretsu armor. Like, alright. <laughs> we'll be able to have fun with that. Dark hole. That's fine. <laughs> I kind of changed the reverse and done all that, but I'm okay right now. Sparkity man. All right, I'll chain now. Cause I was thinking about going with Vo Void Ogre. Wow. Why don't you just run MST? I guess you get more pops and more heroes you have when you feel, but wow. <laughs> yeah. So it's, but it's only spell speed one. Yep. Come on, hero player. <laughs> My defense is zero, yes. But I can't be destroyed in battle, so. No, no, sorry. You didn't know. God damn it! What the fuck? Ah, swing. Like, really? Out of all the cards to fucking draw, like, please. Use my normal summon for effect. Effect. Go ahead and summon Tinker. Sink 8. We'll go ahead and go. I could go to Scrap Dragon combo, but right now I feel like I'm going to take it slow. Go for the Bills combo. No, I'm okay. Everybody's sent already. Alright, Beals, go ahead and attack. If you want to play Honest, more power to you. I don't care. Perfect. And return. Seriously, like, draw Ultimate Nightmare. Like, why? Why? Thank God Supervice is okay. Thank God, because Supervice. Probably one of the more stable decks on Vitamin Y. Put a lot of work into this deck. This is, this is supposed to be my, you know, my original Ubel deck. This is supposed to be the deck, you know. As soon as Bills came out, I was like, ooh, I can combo that with Terror so well. This used to be Start of Spark, but now we got Bills. Bad hams. Mm. Well, I win, because I can just summon Dark Graffer, summon you, pitch, send whoever against the other Butter Spy, because now everybody sent, like I said, it starts to clog, but at least in this sense, it's not too terrible, because I do have a warrior, but after everybody sends it, it starts to clog, but 
Hand. You mean hands. Whatever. If your hand is bad, draw, summon, pitch, send, XC and Dagnef to what? Dagu Sarmo? It really doesn't matter at this point, I win. All I need to do is summon Dark Graffer and I win. And draw an ultimate nightmare. Oh my god, all the silent dooms. No! <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> I could have had all the silent dooms. That's nice game. Unless you have like Gore's Battle Fader or something. So, yep, gonna be getting my new 3DS today, yay, Friday the 13th. <laughs> so all I gotta do is wait for the new Dragon Ball Z game, Xenoverse, yep, I'm gonna be picking up new 3DS and Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, so that should be fun to play. Maybe if you guys get the game, I can play some Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate with some of you guys. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call it up, episode of I'm Why. So tomorrow, I'm gonna be using... Super Vicey Bell, probably for the last. I mean, Super Vicey Bell. Hello. Zombie Vicey Bell. <laughs> I almost said I'm using Super Vicey Bell for the last time. Hello? Never. Never. I I love Super Vicey Bell. It's probably my favorite deck on Vine Moonlight. No. Zombie Vicey Bell for the last time. I guess it's feel. You know, there's some decks that kind of have some synergy with C Bell, and some that don't as much. That deck absolutely has no reason to run you Bell. Like, literally, there's no point. Like, all all you Bell is, and, and to even utilize you Bell, I had to have Zombie Roll. So. I gotta play Zombie World in a deck that really doesn't need Zombie World because they're all already zombies, you know. And the three E bells, which clog your hand, like I could even probably even put without the E bells and stuff. I could probably even throw in like more plague spreaders with those maybe the Mali engine, but because I gotta throw E bell and all the cards that hand with E bell, it's just you know not as functional. So really, it's not even a U bell deck. It's literally a turbo. It's like it's like a it's like a it's like an ill blood vice. Kind of turbo pseudo supervise you bell, except it doesn't need you bell back, you know? The point with supervise is that Doom Shaman summons fiends and you bell is a fiend, you know? You know, even before I knew Tinker existed and I started synchroing with it and threw in supervise and did plays like that, the deck ran Doom Shaman. It was always, you know, Doom Shaman summon you bell. Doom Shaman summon you bell. Even before Limit Reverse, that was Doom Shaman. So. You know, Supervice makes sense. You know, the only reason why it's called Supervice, I don't even really know why it's called Supervice. I think I just called it Supervice because it has Supervice in here, but really it's not Supervice. You know, that's three cards that sometimes I play. It's more like Doom Shaman Yubel. It's like, you know, Doom Shaman is the center of the deck with Yubel, but, you know, Doom Shaman actually has synergy with Yubel that doesn't require unnecessary cards on, like, Ill Blood with Zombie World. So, I'm thinking about taking that deck off and then just putting the Golden Aethy Yubel deck on, uh, on Five Moon Y for Saturdays, you know, the Labrador you build deck. You know, the deck has some synergy. Not as many synergies, but it, it works okay. It works okay, and I've been having kind of fun with that deck. So, uh, but what will I do for web candles? I don't know. To tell you, uh, um, to tell you the truth, um, my videos might be gone for like a week or two just because I am out of live videos. I'm out of duels, I'm out of decks. No one's playing Yu Gi Oh right now, and I'm going to be moving that deck probably from a uh, from uh, live videos from webcam duels over to Vine and Y, so I won't have any decks that I can really use at time. And then I'm probably going to be playing Volcanics on daily duels, so you know I'm really not going to be having any decks to use for webcam duels at the time. So we'll probably take a break on that. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Vine and Y. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with I'm thinking Supervise last time. I, I'm th I'll think about it. Like literally, it could be either the first time with, uh, with uh, Labradite, you know, of course, on um, Lamb and Y, and then I just give the deck profile of of Zavi Vice. I'll probably do that. Yeah, I'll probably do that. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow with the deck profile Zavi Vice Bell because there's really no point in giving an extra day. It's not like it's going to change anything. And then. Um, also, the second vitamin Y with uh, Labrador Evil. Alright, guys, thanks for watching.